Alright, so what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today, the stud muffin's kind of down right now. You see, like, this is gonna be a hard-hitting video, and bruh, what is coming next? I don't even think you guys are ready, man, because I was not ready. I genuinely was shocked this time, and I, I feel like that I have seen it all. You guys probably have seen it all, but what I'm about to show you is just gonna be, like, 10xing everything. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for five likes on the video and shout out to the homie Andy Pants Gaming. Guys, the new Dragon Age, put your seatbelts on. The new Dragon Age game will include customizable top surgery scars. Yeah, and they're pushing that on the kids and all that. Check this out, roll it. I stole this little meme over on the light on the left from Melanie Max channel, but uh, <laughs> this is this is, enjoy Veilguard, guys. Enjoy your top surgery scars. So, Bro, we know that no, uh, video no games way. are going to be played by kids. Even if it's an 18 and up game, we know it's going to be uh, uh, played yeah. by kids. And you guys at Bioware should be ashamed that you're exposing Shame. kids and anybody plays this games to depravity, to bodily mutilation. Like, this is disgusting that they put this in a game, and I think the developers should be ashamed. Um, because it's, it's just really gross, and it's depraved. Um, and also, just check out, like, the art in this game, man. Like, this is, like, like what is it? <laughs> Some kind of a demon with like a weird five head with like weird horns like the art This isn't in video games now listen man I got no issues if you're like above the age of 18 you wanna be like that da, 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 da. Like I got no issues man I got love for everybody as long as you're like not shoving your beliefs down my throat Yeah bro like uh, yeah you do you you live your life I'm cool with everybody man as long as you're not like pushing this on me or you know my family my kids i don't have kids right now but yeah. in the future i want to have i want to build a soccer team and i want to have like a football team on my own man you feel what i'm saying like you know what I'm saying? but uh but like yeah so but 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 damn but damn we talking video games are we really talking video games right now bro like this is what's going on in video games man like they always said the end is nigh i think the end is nigh guys I think the end is nigh. I don't want to sound like a crazy person, but the end is nigh. The end is nigh by the look. I mean, what the hell is going on? Hurt in this game just looks um, terrible. But guys, it doesn't end there. Um, you've got this creature in the bottom right who's probably very confused about their own life. Uh, they're praising the character creator in this game, just talking about how, how amazing the character creator is. And like, look, this looks like it's it's like a linebacker woman. It's like, oh, here, here's a chick who plays on the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, and then, oh, look, um, there it is, non-binary. No. So you can, so your gender, you know, your, proton, your pronouns, I'm sure, can be tree, true, and troon, and then your gender is man, woman, and non-binary. Attack chopper, attack chopper, attack, I identify as an attack chopper, man. But if you identify, identify yourself as an attack chopper, like, um, so you need, like, some wings on top of your head, right? Like, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I see, like, already we have a problem. Oh, shit, I need to find, like, some like propeller or something that I can put on top of my, my head and then I can truly be an attack chopper you feel what I'm saying like Apache 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 is that Apache or Apache um you know what happened to edgy guys this made me think of like do you remember when we were growing up how like violence and sex and drugs was edgy like yeah. video games now you know what would be edgy now Space Marine 2 is edgy now yeah. saying that there are two genders is edgy now um being religious uh, and fi like like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are more than five thousand following christ and and following islam and following a religious faith is edgy like isn't that wild that that's yeah <laughs> isn't that wild that that's bro what bro as a muslim man shout out to all my christian homies bro i i know andy pants is christian right so shout out to andy pants man he was in a massive beef recently with uh, with act man and i gotta say bro the act man had like better debating skills uh, uh, but but the points that andy pants make are not wrong though why because it's true it is true simple as that he ain't wrong in other words it's true so he's spitting facts right now right but but, but like but damn but damn but damn but damn bro what's going on man shout out to my uh, uh, all my homies out there man shout out to all the people that follow or not follow i mean it's your it's a personal matter i get it uh so but but all i want to say is that shout out to all the gamers for coming together and saying no to the bull squash right like yeah, we're seeing what's happening, right? Dustborn failing, Concord failing, Star Wars flopped, essentially, is what we heard from Ubisoft. They said that the sales were soft. They delaying, they delaying Eve Gimo, Gimo, okay, Eve Gimo, delayed BBC Samurai situation, Assassin's Creed, so the game is getting delayed. They removed it from Tokyo Game Show, so they didn't showcase there, guys. 
so we're winning and i think if gamers keep on okay listen man like even if there's like one percent of the other side watching this video that disagree with hey yeah man we, we need to have all of this okay have the 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 the, the mutilated mutilated situation if you agree with that okay whatever bro like this is some some nasty crap bro like I'll, I'll just be honest with you guys man like this is pushing that on kids bro like damn man what are we talking about here bro but okay e even if you're part of the one percent i'll tell you this man like do you want good games or do you want games like that okay just think about it like do you, do you really want games like that where they use you guys as a shield because think about it this way right they always okay like they always listen like damn let me just drink some water man drink water guys drink water Bruh. man drink water ask yourself this do you think this is attractive this is a man dressed up as a female like think about it this way like if you're part of the lgtv crowd like look at this man they purposely making y'all look ugly in the game do you think you're ugly i mean if you think you're ugly okay damn but i i would like to believe that even the lgtv crowd thinks that they are pretty they are like pretty pretty if you think you're pretty but they think you're not so i mean damn like i'm just trying to find a common ground here you know what i'm saying for all us to be uh, for all us to be on the same page games were objectively better five years ago ten years ago why because they were just focused on delivering a good game and they were not constantly thinking about pushing uh, politics woke politics these ideologies and crap products like that so seeing what's happening with dustborn and what happened with concord ultimately biggest playstation game and listen i play on playstation man yeah man sony pony gang rise up yeah seeing what's going on i think it's gonna be like this for like a year or two years but i think it's gonna get better guys if we keep on voting with our wallets it's gonna get better even the modern audience rejected dustborn that should send them a clear message right now Th this is just insanity bro what's edgy now um so like like I'm, I'm fully expecting so i have a young daughter she's five months old i'm fully expecting my child to grow up and be edgy in the eyes of the world today which means she's religious you know um so this was really funny um bro I'll, I'll just say man like congrats on becoming a new dad bro congrats but uh yeah man just uh choose and pick the school wisely man because you never know man school is a program and i i mean you know that right like the stuff that's going down in schools is insane man per uh, personal story got a homie of mine okay just lived like a block away uh, got a young sister and sister uh, her young sister she's confused about her gender i wonder why i wonder why and she went to the same school i went to like a decade plus ago right and i can say this that back when i was in school i mean we had none of that the teachers were saying male and female simple as that that's what they were saying bro by logic by that what they were whenever we would have like science classes you know they would i remember they uh, at one time they talk about like the frog and they were like hey male and female right you feel what i'm saying like there was a whole lot of that man i mean it was, the teachers were based man especially like my french teachers uh, my math teachers right they were based af though it would usually be like the the maths dude it would be a dude it would be like an arab guy right uh arab guy i'm Pakistani personally but uh he would that would be an arab guy the the french teacher would usually be a native french uh white lady right uh usually in the 40s and the 50s and some of the best teachers man i had some of the best teachers humor on 10 bro humor on 10 and uh when it comes time to teach you crap they would teach you crap of course like nowadays you're not gonna have the same thing i get at different times but but still i didn't think it would be that different to the point where kids in schools would be actually confused about who they are i thought schools were meant to elevate you as a person i thought schools were meant to you know like develop your critical thinking because i remember back when teachers would be like hey man your argument is invalid your argument kind of soft it's not that strong you need your argument to be strong because yeah it was about like you know in writing they would tell you bro like your argument needs to be strong bro you need to make better arguments i don't know what they're teaching nowadays man that kids are actually confused bro yeah there's a clear if you if you look at kids in china versus kids in the u.s canada like north america in the west right you compare the kids 
Night and day difference, bro. Night and day difference, man. Night and day difference, man. I wonder why. I wonder why. Um, this chick, Savvy, uh, she hangs out with like Stuttering Craig and all those guys. She um, said, I am in a, uh, she was making fun of the character creator. She said, I'm an 108 pound woman who sits for 15 hours a day. I'm not even in my prime. And so she's saying like, you know, she's saying, hey, I've got a pretty good butt in, in her words. And then she's comparing that with the 100% butt slider on the Bruh. gay beer. <laughs> so this so this woman savvy is saying, look, I don't even have a very good butt, but the 100% butt slider looks like this, dog. Like what? What yeah, is going I, I feel like I got a bigger kick than <laughs> Yeah, I feel like, okay, that's kind of good. <laughs> but I think I got a, I, I genuinely believe I got a bigger one than this 100% slider, though. Like, damn, what are we talking? At 100%, at bro, that should have been clapping, though. That should have been ta 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 You feel what I'm saying? What's going on here? And look, I'm not some kind of gross pervert, <sighs> dude, but I believe in freedom of the press and freedom of everyone. And I think you should be able to have whatever kind of body you want in a game. But isn't that isn't isn't it weird the values of the gay leftist cucks? How they're like, oh, yep, yeah, no, nope, that's that's all the butt you could have. That's all the butt we're gonna give you. Um, I saw this quote on Twitter: Dragon Age Velgar developers, you can remove breasts and add scars, but we'll close the studio before you ever make a sexualized female character. <laughs> um, guys, it gets more wild. So. What does the body in the game, what do, in the character creator, what do the bodies in the game look like when you go 100% on the breasts? <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Like, mosquito bites. Um, this is an 100% breast slider, and it's like mosquito bites. Like, <sighs> see, but guys, this is what happens when you put, guys, this is what happens when you put people like this in charge, because people like this are broken. They're angry at men. They hate you. Dude, these people hate you. They hate me. They hate you. They hate regular men. They hate regular women right. because they're confused. The the ch I mean, the dude became a chick, so he switched sides like he was in a Call of Duty lobby. Man, the technology is advanced, and just by looking at the face, it's kind of confusing, right? But of course, if you see the full physique, you're going to easily know uh, that it's a dude, right? But damn, so he also changed the glasses? Yo, he changed the glasses! Yo, the gla- the gla- okay, he got like more of like a female, female, female glasses, right? Damn. So you see the hair a little bit curly, right? That lipstick be uh, okay. So got rid of the, the, a little bit of the mustache, kind of right. Yeah. yeah, the stubble, the stubble. Yeah, that's what you call it, right? Damn. Okay. They had the long hair before too. So, got a. Okay. Okay. Uh, shout out to the homie for subscribing. They're confused and hateful, and they hate anything good. They hate anything that's uh, the way that God created it. Like, let's be honest. God created some women with big bo big uh, boobs and big breasts and everything, and they hate God's design of humans. So they think, oh, we can do a better job. We're going to say this is an 100% breast slider. And this is a game with a more <laughs> ample uh, yo, breast uh, allowance. Yo. You know, it's like, who cares? It's your fantasy. You know, for, for those of us who are gamers, it's your fantasy. It's your video game. You should be able to play the game however you want it. But no, not according to the woke leftist Prius driving cuck. Bruh. I mean, bruh. Uh, at Bioware, they're saying, "Oh, this is this is a hundred percent chest size. That's all you get." Uh, but finally, um, this guys, this is pretty much the nail in the coffin for Dragon Age Veilguard because this game is done. EA is apparently has been caught faking orders for their pre-orders. <laughs> um, I've seen some uh, reports that GameStop pre-orders are incredibly <laughs> low for the game. We know that right now the game is below fallout 76 no um, it's at man. 122 on the pre-orders and in, in the interest right now chart it's done guys dragon age the veil guard is cooked because it went woke and that's why the title that i said of this video is um we're winning yeah we're winning we because are, these are. companies are gonna have to shudder Bio yeah, like, even the modern audience is not interested in buying that crap uh, yeah, even, and, and listen here, man, I, I've read comments uh, from you guys, right? Even people from the LGTV Mafia, LGTV group as well, the Mafia and the non-Mafia, right? Like, you know, I, I've read comments from the even the LGTV people, and they say, dog, like, <laughs> we, we ain't buying that crap. We ain't buying that crap. So if it truly feels like that gamers from all walks of life are on the same page. They're really pushing this heavy to the point where even the LGTV crowd is like, this is too much. This is way too much, right? Because ultimately, it's not giving them or getting them acceptance. I believe that's what they want, right? 
And for the longest amount of time, people were like, hey, uh, okay, you do you, right? Yeah, that's like how it is. Like people are like, hey, you wanna, like you do you. Behind closed doors, you do you, right? Like we, we don't wanna know, we don't wanna know. Do we tell you what we do behind closed doors? No, right? So why do you want, yeah, you don't push your beliefs on me, I don't push my beliefs on you, right? You a cool person to talk to, you're a cool person to talk to. You know, simple as that, simple as that, right? It, it was always like that. And uh, now they're pushing it so much that just people they're breaking everybody they're breaking everybody and they're breaking everybody apart right now you know they are the ones that are separating everybody and uh yeah like it, it's wild nowhere is gonna have to close down because they're not giving people what they want anymore but guys speaking of that let's go on to assassin's creed shadows here and um i made a video about this game talking about how uh the definition of woke is forcing a political narrative into a game that doesn't exist or doing it in a really wooden propaganda propagandistic way and that's exactly what assassin's creed shadows did so i found a couple articles here from uh that park place um ubisoft developer reportedly revealed company brushes off legitimate criticism as toxic gamer talk and dei what? policy policies have led to brain drain um Bruh. guys uh, uh, blessed are you if you get called a shill blessed are you if you get called a grifter um, blessed are you if you get called toxic on the internet these days because it means you're following a righteous and a moral path because these people don't know anything about morality. These people have no morality whatsoever and so all they can do is call you uh, a toxic gamer and a chud yeah. and all this stuff. Uh, toxic gamers, toxic gamers. Those are keywords, guys. When you get called a grifter and a shill, that is a keyword to let you know that you're you're on the right path, dude. You're, you're following God. Um, uh, here's here's another, and I'm going to butcher his name. Ubisoft CEO Eves Eves Gamon claims company's goal. It's Eve Gimo Gimo, okay? Gimo Gimo. Not that hard. Francais, motherfucker. Francais, man. It's Eve Gimo, okay? Eve Gimo. Is not to push any specific agenda, despite company's website saying otherwise. <laughs> uh, dude, this guy is in full meltdown mode. Um, so he's saying, we don't push any specific agenda here, but then you go to, uh, they, I guess, sorry, the whole thing didn't pay. Uh, and they, they are the ones saying that, hey, men not allowed, right? Like, I mean, what are we talking about, bro? They have mentorship programs just for the, I believe, uh, not I believe, yeah, females, females and non-binary, right? So even if the, the females are like, hey, we identify as dudes, they, they cannot work there. I mean, make that make sense. Bruh. Make that make sense, bro. But you go to their website. And they have a section called Our Vision. And they talk about Bruh. colleagues, culture, content, and community. And they talk about all of their all of their leftist homo values. And see, you know, the interesting reason why wokeism is invisible to wokies is because they say, oh, this is just right. You're a bigot if you disagree Bruh. with me. You're a racist if you if you disagree with me. They can't see they're they're unable to see their own bullshit because they surround themselves with people who agree with him with themselves and they say oh we're not sp pushing any specific agenda this is just how it is and yet they have their religious devotion to their pagan gay communist values um uh just looking back on <clears throat> this this hilarious scene uh where yasuke on assassin's creed shadows is is you know even though we're in the 1600s we somehow have uh, uh 1990s american hip-hop music playing over him <laughs> and even though he's supposedly a ninja from africa we're, we're gonna play hip-hop music over the guy like tone deaf bruh exactly they but, but i i have to say that hip-hop music did slap okay i love that i love the music i love the, I love the music i didn't i did love the the music the the beat was kind of very good it was catchy but of course it's like dog what are we doing here it's like feudal japan 1600s they added a bbc samurai right and we're talking about yasuke a real life person and they made him what he was not he was not gay in real life and they still made him again if he was gay in real life then of course it makes sense to make him as he was in real life but they're like nah bro he's black so let's make him gay okay like they always do that to uh, they always do that to my black homies man like they always do that bro they always do that and just dei insertion big time this game should have had like a Japanese protagonist, Japanese male, like an actual, like a real samurai, you know what I mean, right? And it's okay, man, not everybody's, uh, not a, not everybody's supposed to be a, a samurai, man. Listen, I was not a samurai, I, yeah, I, I'm, and I'm not a samurai, man. My people were not samurais, okay, so I'm not a samurai, and it's fine, man, it's fine. Every group, uh, every, uh, 
And culture has their own uniqueness, okay? Every culture got positives and, I guess, uh, negatives. Dip uh, and that is subjective. Everything is subjective, right? In terms of, like, the cultural... Uh, there are certain things that are objective, of course. But, I mean, to say, like, you know, some cultural values might be looked at negative from the other group. But that's, like, subjective, right? And it's fine, man. Not everybody's cut out to be a samurai. Liberal white women. I think Jay the Concept said it best. This game was made by tone-deaf liberal white women. So, guys, the reason why I say that we're winning is because this happened. Dear mm. players, Assassin's Creed Shadows is a dream project for us. Dream do, project. Do, 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 do. Finally bad. bringing the series to feudal... Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, guys. Japan. Guys, it, it, it wasn't ever about bringing the series to Japan. If you wanted to bring the series to Japan, you would have had the kind of characters that you did before in a new Assassin's Creed game, but you mm. specifically changed around the characters. You made them woke. You put uh, w weird particular minorities in there that are based off of your political al aligning. And, and like, Assassin's Creed has never been about taking some, you know, I think I made the comparison of taking a white guy named Brad from Ohio and putting him in a game, putting him in a game about Af Africa. Yeah. Everybody would lose their mind if Ubisoft did that. <laughs> and yet they can't see their own bullshit. The first of all, they're never going to do that. But if they did, yeah, that's the that's a exact point, right? Exact point. If there was a game set in Africa where they can tell like amazing stories uh, from the black culture, right? Uh, and they somehow inserted a white person that would also be called uh, as DEI, right? Because yeah, like damn, like what are we doing here, man? Damn, damn, man. So that's gonna be insane too, but I don't think they will do. Guys, do not watch this video on the screen that you're seeing right now. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to handle the drama that went down recently. Do not watch it, man. Do not click. Whatever you do, do not check it out. Watch the video on the left, man. Check out the video on the left. Check out the video on the left, and I'll see.